you know, I said, I hope we get, can you believe it? We actually have a connection here. Ooh. Okay, wait, wait till we get someone on. Everybody smile, pretend we're just on pause. And now wave. Hey, hey. Here we are at Emerald City Comic Con live for the whole world to see. And we have up here, we have my friends. Everybody wave. And we're about to start our four uh, in the afternoon. We, we had one earlier today. And now we are on for another one today. We're in Pacific time. This is Pacific. It's 415. And we're going to start. Now, you guys on Facebook, you've heard this whole introduction a thousand times. But I'm going to give these guys the full treatment here. Of course, you think I'd be more organized. <clears throat> All right, so some of you might have drawn with me back in 1985. A lot of people remember me uh, on a show called The Secret City with Commander Mark. Raise your hand if anybody remembers that. Please, somebody. <laughs> One person. Thank God. All right, raise your hand high so that everybody knows. Like, yeah, see, I'm serious. I, I used to look like that. So usually there's one person, and I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see. So there, man, there I was, looking ever so young. That was 19 years old. I did a TV series, and there's a whole story behind that. You go to Wikipedia, and it's a pretty funny story. And it's actually true that's on Wikipedia. So that was Secret City. Now, in 1996, I did another TV series, and uh, I wrote and uh, co-created it called The Imagination Station. And uh, this TV series Sorry. went all over the world. Now, raise your hand if you remember that one. Anybody? Oh, Ooh. thank you. So there's three people. Anybody over here? Well, now, this show won the Emmy. Someone say, ooh. ooh. Someone say, ooh, la, la. <laughs> I'm telling you that for two reasons. One is I'm trying to impress you so you'll like me. <laughs> and number two... I want you to draw with me today and hopefully get so inspired. This this TV show right here, it is on. Does anybody have Netflix? Raise your hand if you have Netflix. Okay. <laughs> I'm not on Netflix. Okay, does anybody have Amazon Prime? Woo! Let me hear it, Amazon Prime! Woo! Wait, I'm trying to find it. There it is. Woo! There it is. Someone say yay! yay! So you can see uh, me on Amazon Prime. Isn't that fun? That's the Imagination Station for you. All right, well, let's get going. These are, we're going to draw right here in this square. We're going to draw four drawings, and I don't have a pencil. Can you believe it? Of all, here, throw me one of them. The other, that's the next one. Catch! Don't do that at home, kids. <laughs> all right, square number one. Let's start. We're going to start with a uh, our first square. You know what? Let's draw a dinosaur. Put two dots straight across from each other. Now. Anyone, truly, anyone can learn how to draw. If you learn what I call the 12 Renaissance words, these words were draw the four shortened circle. The, that's a four shortened shape. That's called squish and distort. If you learn how to squish and distort, you can make one part look closer and one part look further away. Drawing in 3D is, is an optical illusion. You guys can watch up here or you can watch on the computer. Okay, can you see one of those? Okay. Okay, curve the bottom. <laughs> and then let's put a dot. Now watch this. I, it looks like a little bowl shape. But let's take this. And right up here, I'm going to put a dot up high right here. Oh, look. We have artists here. You guys, tell me where you're from. I'm going to show the people where you're from here. Uh, there's Karen. I think Karen's from up in North. Uh, Lisa Weiling. There's Lisa. Can you see her? Lisa Weiling's from Brazil. We have Germany online right now. We have Ireland. Hello, Ireland. Josh, Josh Mosh. I don't know where he's from, but it's a cool name. Josh Mosh. Oh, great. My battery's running low. <laughs> Draw a four shortened circle. And just pretend that I'm not panicking. Now, uh, 3D is the illusion of depth, near and far, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do. Pause. People online are going, what's going on? What happened? <laughs> Sorry, there's a mermaid and there's the there's this princess of the frozen land here. And they're distracting me. <laughs> that scared me very much. I put that, when I first got it, I put it in my son's room. He's 16 years old. 
and a hat stretched across his door. He's like, ah! And then he opened the door. Come on, that's funny. That's quality humor. Okay, I'm talking about this banner. See that, guys? I put, he, my son opened his door and he saw that like right there in his face. It, it was great. Oh. <laughs> now draw the top. Okay, we're going to draw a little dinosaur hatching. <clears throat> you see how that top is too big for the bottom, really? I mean, it doesn't matter. We're, we're just doodling. We're noodling, doodling. Fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Take your pencil, scribble, sketch, 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 scribble, scribble, scribble. You know what? I don't like it. I'm going to erase it. I want it to pop, come out of the square. Let's break out of the square. You don't have to stay inside this square. It's not, it's not locked in there. It's not locked. You can, uh, it's not a wall. You can break free. Come on, pop out of it. Draw the neck. This is called tapering. See from the top, come down. It's skinny right here. Taper it down right here. Taper, taper, taper. And now up here, let's draw the near eyes larger. Here's a word called size. Near eyes larger. And this one gets a little bit smaller as you working away. Oh, this little pencil, the, the folks are freaking out because I'm using this little teeny tiny pencil. Usually I have, you know, fancy schmancy one. Let's draw a little bit of hair. Ah! <laughs> Why? Why does he draw screaming hair? Why? And the kids always ask me, how come you scream ah! when you draw hair? And I said, oh, it's fun. All right, tapering. I'll use your pencil. And let's erase that little bit in there. See that? That's overlapping. That's in front. We want to erase it. And then put a little darkness here and shade lighter. A little darkness here, shade lighter. Isn't that fun? Someone say, oh, this is fun. Someone say, awesome. awesome. Isn't that cool? Look at you guys are drawing. You're drawing. Show your neighbor you're drawing and say, behold, brilliance. Behold. You guys should do it. You guys are so cool. <laughs> Behold, look at your neighbor, pat your neighbor on the shoulder and say, nice job. <laughs> edify, edify, got to edify. Now down here, we're going to put some texture, watch. Put some dots. Now we're going to take this little dinosaur and put some texture down here. This is called texture, texture, texture. Well, we have Debbie Wingo on. Hello, guys. Somebody tell me your city. Where are you from? Tell me states. Tell me we are from Michigan. We have Brazil. We have Germany. We had, tell me, send me some more notes. We have uh, Texas. Hello, Texas. Here, put that texture. Well, we are in Seattle. We're in Seattle. It is about 4 10, 4 20. And we're going to, in 30 minutes, we're going to do three beautiful drawings. The whole point of this is to prove that anyone can learn. You can learn even in, in just 30 minutes. I'm going to put a, the sun right here. This is going to be our light source. For all of our drugs. I'm gonna put the sun right there. And the sun's coming down. So I'm gonna shade. Now watch this. I'm gonna shade right over here. So take your pencil nice and dark. Nice and dark. Go lighter and lighter. This is called blended shading. Gets lighter. Now inside here, the pen the sun's up here, so watch this. Shade inside here. Blend it down, get lighter and lighter. Look at everybody's drawing with me. I'm so proud of you. Here, look at, this is what I see. Look at, they're all, their heads are down. They're all drawing. They're, I'm so proud of my students. Okay, guys, look up and be all surprised and wave to the world. Yay. Yay. <laughs> you guys are cool. My favorite class except for you. <laughs> How's that? I saved that one there. What about us? We're chopped liver. <clears throat> Dark right here. Blend across. Get lighter and lighter as you come across. Lighter. Lighter and lighter. And then, now, wherever the sun is, you shade opposite to create that illusion of depth. Not death, but depth. Say depth. depth. That's the third dimension. There's length, width, and there's depth. So 3D, here, let's put it down here. Let's write 3D. 3D equals. 3D equals. I'm just trying to move some stuff around here so I can... Draw, there we go. 3D equals length plus width plus depth. D E P T H. Try to say it without spitting. Depth. <laughs> All right, now up here, you know what? I'm going to draw this guy's little tongue. He's sticking. 
Look at here. This is this, this make him kind of like edgy. He's spitting black. Your mom's gonna go. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> da! Whenever kids don't laugh at my jokes, I just draw hair. It's the great safety net. <coughs> sun's up here, and then every every time I scream, two people go out the door. The sun's here, the shade, and look, and I'm gonna put a little little crack, little edge, little crack, little detail. Hello, hello. Uh, oh, Karen, well, you always said because it's my nature on the Imagination Station about my hair screaming. That means I've been screaming with hair since I was 27 years old. Seriously? <laughs> I didn't realize it was that long. I have a hair issue. Now, back here, draw the horizon line. That's one of those words. There's all these words are drawing. That's cool. There's our little... Our little uh, our little dinosaur guy. Well, let's go. Where's where? Where do you want to go next in square number two? Where do you guys want to go now? Where do you guys? How how are you doing down there? Can you guys hold up your drawings? Here, show show me your drawings to the world. Show your drawings to the world. Look at you guys. Everybody, clap your hands for my artist up here. Aren't these guys great? All right, guys. You pick pick up your drawings. You guys did fantastic. Pick up your drawings and. Uh, let, me, let me show the camera real quick, one more time. Here, show these guys now. Here, put your, look at her, look at her. Oops, I poke your nose. And here, look at, and these guys cool. All right, get out of here, I love you. Go on, back to your seat. Let's get new, any more kids that are in the room? I don't, any more kids haven't come up yet? All right, let's get uh, all dads. Come on, dads. Let's get, so he's, you gonna stay? Come on, Dad. Come on. I'm, I'm not dead. Come on. Uh, any bad with a beard? Okay. How about uh, any male? I want to get all. Uh, come on, guys. Come on. Help me out. Come on. I'll give you some more candy. I do. Okay. Come on. Right. There's three. I haven't had one. Okay. Yet. Now the guy in the very back, he's thinking about it. Okay, come on, Mister <laughs> Smart Intellectual. All right, you guys got it? All right, here's candy. I promise you, look, hand it down. Woo yeah, woo. <laughs> right, we have one more. One more. How about Mr. Intellect over here? You look sharp, you handsome devil. Get up here. Okay, now these guys, I think, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a really macho drawing. Ready? A teddy bear. Perfect. Okay, that's how, or, or we could do a lily. Okay, teddy bear. Teddy bear? Teddy bear. Come on. Teddy bear. There's room for you. Okay. There's money involved. Have Mr. Beard. Sure, but Come right here, man. Guess what? <laughs> okay. Can you hand the candy down? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be, uh, be the only one champion on candy. It would be very embarrassing. You're not good. You know you're hungry. You eat a potato chip. Oh, that's the best potato chip I've ever had in my life. Okay. I'm sorry you out in the world of... Facebook, I'm eating candy, and I know it's really obnoxiously crunchy, <laughs> but really good. Oh, this is bad. I can... <laughs> oh, it's on. <laughs> Square number two, where we're going to draw a, a teddy bear. This would be wonderful, wonderfully macho for, for Papa. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Let's block it in. Little teddy bear. Little teddy bear. Yes, I missed the candy already. Yeah, let's get that. There we go. Mermaid, are you impressed how I'm doing all this right here? There's a lot going on right here. Isn't that incredible? You're next up here, by the way. <laughs> these two right here, they're next. And these two right here, these three, these three, they're coming up. Were you, were you already up here? Okay, so you're coming up next. And she has a baby, so that's you can bring your baby. So we're going to have moms up here next. Anyone can draw, anyone and everyone. Isn't drawing fun? Say, so, yeah, drawing's fun. Yeah, it's great. Drawing is so fun. It's good for you, too. It's good for your brain. It's good for your thinking. It's good for your soul. Say amen. Amen. Yeah, all right, here, angle it down. This is just not straight across. Just angle it a slight angle. Howdy. Janet, here, there's Janet, all the way from California, from Knott's Berry Farm. I was at Janet's school on Monday. What a nice segue, Janet. I, by the way, I do school assemblies around the world. If Who's any teachers in here or educators? 
anybody know a teacher? Did anybody, was anybody ever in school? Okay. <laughs> if you know a teacher, make sure you get one of my, uh, my educator sheets here. It uh, talks about uh, using the program in your classroom, and I do school assemblies. Fam, uh, two dots right here. Janet, I had so much fun at your school. It was so awesome. Draw the four short in circle. Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to be in class right now. Actually, no. You're, uh, yes, it's two hours. No, you're out of school right now. Angle it down, overlapping. Actually, no, she's the same time period. It's 4.15. Down here. Now, look, I'm going to put some texture. Put some texture. And here, we're going to erase this. That's overlapping. See how that sits right there? Could draw a cute little teddy bear. Now, his arm, watch this. His arm gets bigger as it comes out towards you. Hello, Keith Armstrong. Nice to have you here. Aren't you from Pennsylvania? From... Puxatwani, where the, where the groundhog is, draw the four short and circle. Put some, you know, erase this, clean it up. Erase, erase, erase. How you doing there, Pops? Hi, Looking good. Can I show you your drawing? Sure. Okay, look at this is Papa. And here's Papa's drawing. Look at that. Is that cute? It looks like my brother. Look, this guy looks like. <laughs> someone say Papa. Papa. Now, ready? Look at this guy. He's like Mr. Dentist. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> that is so great. Thanks for drawing with me, guys. It's a big deal getting mom and dad drawing. They haven't drawn anything since sixth grade. So then they, a lot of people uh, your age, you guys, they think that they just don't have any talent and they can't draw. Well, it really, it really doesn't have anything to do with talent. You, anyone can draw. So can you write your name? That's the question. Can you write your name? If you can write your name, you can draw. It just takes uh, just a few moments of crazy courage to draw a few lines that's why in my new book i'm calling it you can draw in 30 seconds my brand new book coming out i'm very excited about it <clears throat> by the way all you online can go to my website and pre-order it and you can too you can pre-order my new book it's called you can draw in 30 seconds all it takes is a few moments of crazy courage put that pencil on the paper <clears throat> Around here now, I'm gonna put the teddy bear's face and little nose, little eyes. Look, he's so cute. Someone say, "Oh." And here now, anybody remember Secret City, my old TV show for the that a character called the Una Bear, and it was, and I invented this on the show. It had a un little unicorn horn, and it was called Una Bear, and about. A month after the show aired, um, Hasbro came out with Unidog, Unicat, Unimonkey. It was really, really a, quite a coincidence. Now, there's no way they could have, you know, someone seen my Unibear and, oh, we're going to steal it and make our own. It had to happen simultaneously. So, like, so those ideas that happen, like electricity and, you know, to telegraph, telephone. Sometimes it just happens in different parts of the world. Well, the Unibear has, has had the same kind of global impact as electricity. <laughs> she got my humor right there. <laughs> Usually I get two, I have two chuckles and the other one, thank you. Okay, here, draw down here. This is what happens when you teach for 40 years. Here's your own best audience. Here, draw this here. So if you like drawing, remember, you can go on every night with me, every night for another 20 nights, um, 12, 15 nights. Here, draw the, on Facebook. It goes on, I go into live every night on Facebook, 90 days on Facebook, but then I put it right away over to Instagram and to YouTube. Okay. Now, would you guys do me a favor? Yeah, sure. Well... <laughs> I need, I don't need, I want to have 60,000 followers on, on Instagram. I don't know why. I don't understand it. I don't know why it's so important. But my friend Dan Fraga from like Marvel Comics and Wolverine and he's like super famous guy. He has 69,000 followers and I have 2,000. So I want to be cool like him. And so will you guys follow me on Instagram? Raise your hand if you'll follow me on Instagram. 
Okay, look at you see it right here. Raise your hand again, live. Okay. I don't know why, but I think it'd be cool to have a lot of followers. Does any does anybody understand Instagram? I mean, do you get it? Okay, coming from you, I just, it's hard to take. I mean, I, all I see is your eyebrows, your nose, and I and I go, well, yeah, really? Okay. Yeah, is there a picture of you on Instagram today? Yes. Okay. You have to come back to my table, and we have to share whatever what you know you follow or friend or whatever on i want to see that your shade a shadow on the ground put a belly button gentlemen i think we've done our macho drawing huh shade shade under here wherever the light is lights above so we're going to shade under the cheek under the cheek here how are you doing yeah, this is, I'm using my little Ticondra guys. They're all freaked out because usually I draw with a really nice, expensive pen, pencil. My pencil is usually $11. It's a Pentel HB 9mm. 11, actually I get two for 11, so it's $5.62. Here, draw the fur. I just love that little guy. Someone say, awesome. 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 Now, this guy, I've been, I've been teaching folks this drawing for 40 years since The Secret City. And some of my students went on to animate movies that you guys have all grown to uh, love and enjoy. Some of my students are the ones who created Baymax. And they uh, work for DreamWorks and Pixar and Marvel and Disney. Um, this is a fan art piece that I created uh, of, of Baymax. And it was a it's kind of a salute to my students for doing, you know, getting the high, um, the important big time animation positions and director. Some of my students uh, worked on the work at Disney. Some of my, now I have a very, I have a, a very flexible uh, definition of students. If somebody watched me on TV and sent me a note, they're my students. <laughs> so these are viewers. I could say viewers, but students sound so much better. And they worked at Marvel Comics. So I, this is a mashup. I created this. The guy who worked, the student who worked at on Little Mermaid, he was getting married, and his, he, he wanted me to make him Spider Man. He wanted a black bow tie, and I forgot it. So, oops. And then the, now everybody says so far three people have asked me, and it never happens, but Seattle. What's everybody says? Uh, what's he hanging from? Now I go to about fifty comic cons a year, and no one ever said. And then today, already three people. What's he? Are you guys super analytical or something? <coughs> All right. Some of my students worked on Frozen. Someone say, "Oh, one of my guys won the Oscar for directing uh, Kung Fu Panda. His name was Rex Grignon. And this one, this is a mashup. His daughter liked the minion, so I put that in. There. And it, this is the Secret City that you guys might enjoy. Now. Would you, anybody like a free one of my art pieces? Anybody like one? Raise your hand. Any, who has shoes on? Who, any, raise your hand if you have shoes. Who wants a free art? All right. Well, I'll tell you what. If you come up to my, my table at 5 tonight at 5.15, a half hour after we're done, I'm going to give away some of my art. I'll draw names. If you show up to my table. Now, my table, are you ready? Is number, I have no idea. <laughs> um, it's up there, sixth floor. I know it's NN. How's that? Okay, so go to table and the row NN dash question mark. Okay, I'm up there somewhere. That's the joy. Oh, treasure hunt. You gotta find me. All right, look at that. It's so cute. Take your finger and blend it. Someone say, oh, that's awesome. Let's shade a little bit down here and blend it. <coughs> Someone say, awesome. Awesome. Okay, well, thank you, gentlemen, so much. Let's get all the dads. Dads, can you smile? Look at all the dads up here. Show us your art, dads. That's great. And let's get some moms up here now. Clap your hands for these guys, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, now we need uh, Mama. Here she comes, Mama. With, with her, she's gonna get the end. You two get up here. And any other, any other uh, uh, mamas? Mamas first, women? Gender neutral? Come on up. What's your end time for this? Mommy? Yeah, come on up. So 
Yay, thank you. Pardon me? Three minutes. Uh, 445. Okay. Fred! We love Fred. Give him a hand, you guys. We love you. All right, so we're going to go. We have three minutes. So we're going to do a three-minute drawing here. Uh, thank you all for spending part of your precious day here at Comic-Con with me. If you want to draw more, I'm doing this every day at this time in this room with Fred. And he's going to, you and I, we're going to be buddies. Now, down here, bottom square, uh, what's that? Draw? Let's, let's draw a little flag, flag waving. Um, here, draw a flagpole. Little little celebration flag. Four shortening. Start right here. Take aim. And we're going to draw the four short circle. Now, remember, if you want a free piece of art, we'll have a drawing at 515. Remember, tonight, uh, actually, I'm not, this is my live for today. So, tonight, uh, this is it. 90 days, 90 drawings, you guys. Thanks for, for coming on with me. And let me show you that I'll do that. 90 days, 90 drawings. There it is. So, thank you, all you guys who are on the Facebook with me. Um, taper it down. Now, if you want to friend me on Facebook and follow along with it, I know I get excited about Facebook when everybody on the whole planet starts leaving Facebook. <clears throat> but look for There's 37 Mark Kistlers on Facebook. I've counted. They're all military sergeants. Um, if you are looking for me, look for the Mark Kistler who has Elmo attacking him. <laughs> uh, there's a picture I was waving, and Elmo like jumped in, and it's a funny picture. So that's me. And that's the one I uh, we have curved the bottom. That's called contour. Come up, put a dot right here, curve it away. And there's your flag. Okay. And that's great. Now, if you're a teacher, be sure to get one of my information sheets. And at 515, please do visit me at booth number N and dash something. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah. Okay, well, say, say goodbye to my Facebook world. Bye, everybody. Bye.